Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. It is that time of the year and you know, it's Christmas time with all the festivities, the jolly, the merry. And uh, it's also that time when you have to start looking for gift ideas to get for your family, the friends, you know, co-workers. I know I struggle with that every year as well. I never know what to get people and uh, I'm also trying to always stay on budget. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about top five budget friendly tech under $50 that you can get for family and friends for the, their smart home, right? So they can use this pretty much to get started on their smart home journey, trying to, you know, very small stuff, easy to set up, not, no, nothing too complicated, you know, that you can pretty much give to anybody, whether old, young, baby, whatever, right? What male, female, it doesn't matter. This gift will work for everybody there. Just a the perfect starter gift. But before I do that, if this is your first time on the channel, you know what to do. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well and the notification bell icon as well so you get notified when we drop new content like this. Also, make sure to like the video if you do like it. And if you don't, also let us know down in the comment section as well what you don't like about it. And uh, we'll strive and do our best to take notes of your recommendation and changes and we'll implement it in future videos as well. And if you do like the video as well, tell us what you love about this video. I love to read your comments from you beautiful people out there. But let's dive right into the top five gift ideas under $50. And you can pick, pretty much pick them up on Amazon as well. I'm gonna leave a, you know, links to all of them down in the comment section. They're all affiliate links as well. It would cost you nothing at all but it would help support our channel as well. So please do use the links as well down below if you're gonna get this gifts. But let's dive right in. Number one is the Amazon Echo Dot fourth generation. It does come with two options, right? You can get it one with the smart clock and the other without the smart clock. It also comes in a couple of three different color choices as well to choose from. So yeah, you can get three of them for three different people, different colors fantastic idea now this thing is actually packed with the Amazon Alexa as a smart assistant so basically what that means it gives you access to the full Amazon's uh, library of smart uh, assistant stuff that you can do right so you have access to things like smart skills for example so there's a lot of smart skills on the Amazon app right you know you can do things like uh, play trivia games right during game night you can do things like uh, listen to uh, podcasts you can do things like you know listen to cookbooks as well audiobooks music on spotify amazon prime music as well it's basically one of the starting building blocks of your smart home you can even control your smart home devices right if you do have ones already in your house right so you can get it to play things on your tv as well you can use it to control your lights your switches usually goes out for around 80 over 80 dollars but right now it is on sale for just under $40. And I think it is a fantastic deal right now to pick one up. And if you don't wanna use the speakers on it, it actually has Bluetooth as well. So you can pair it up with another Bluetooth uh, speaker and then get it to play your music on that speaker using the voice control on your Amazon Echo. Get it for mom, dad, grandpa, grandma. They'll be able to use it. They can just talk to it, control it, and get it to do stuff as well. Number two is the smart lock. Now my top, recommended smart plug is the smart plug from tp link and i love it because of one additional feature that it comes with besides the fact that the smart plug gives you the feature of being able to remotely control any device that's plugged to it remotely right and you can even set up things like schedules and routines and scenes right so for example my tree back here it's actually plugged to a smart plug so what happens is during the daytime the light will go off and then at night time it will come on I plan to travel in a few days and I won't be around to turn it on and off. And plus it's too much of an asshole, like t coming every day to be like, oh, have you turned it on? No, it's kind of, you know, just automate it. So that way I take that process and they kind of just get, automate that process. And it would actually look as if I'm home, right? Even when I'm not home, the light will come on itself at the same time every day and go off in the morning as well, or whatever time you prefer, you can kind of set it up. Another feature I do like about this TP-Link Casa smart plug in particular is the fact that it actually does have the smart energy monitoring feature on it. Basically, you can track your energy usage of any device you have plugged to it. I can actually look at the you know energy logs of uh, the, the energy that my tree is actually consuming, right? I can kind of keep track of it and see 
you know how it's using it on a day-to-day -day basis it doesn't have to be a christmas tree it can be anything you plug to it like a kettle your coffee maker anything it's your whatever you feel like plugging to you can track it i really do love it because of that and also this platform is actually really cheap right now for 15 dollars, you can actually pick one up right now and uh the app for this tp link casa smart blog is fantastic i've used i use a lot of their devices around my house i have the smart switches across my house as well and they integrate nicely with a whole lot of other platforms right i use it with my own kit as well not natively though i use it with google assistant i use it with alexa I use it with smart things like i have so many other different smart home platforms i use and i've been able to integrate it, it nicely into all of them and it's giving me the least grief of all of my devices so the tp link products in general the smart plug fantastic idea to get for family friends i'm sure they will love it they'll always have there's always one place in the house you can actually use these things number three is a camera now the camera i recommend the most is the wise cam now wise has been around for quite a while now they make fantastic products products on a budget right because a lot of the companies out there today they make very expensive smart smart home technologies have always been very expensive right but wise has been focused on bringing smart home products at a really good price and this wise cam is one of the it's my favorite of all the devices they've made i have this wise cam across my house in various parts of the house right it's just the ease of setup right it's plug and play you plug it in connect it to your wi-fi and voila you're good to go now this camera is packed with a couple of features as well it's got the night cam i mean it's got the ir infrared sensor so basically if you're using it outdoors at night you can still see what's going on it has that infrared light on it so it will still light up that area when it detects motion with its onboard motion detector as well so when motion is detected it can start to capture or record the event now this another thing i really do like about this camera is the fact that it also comes with that micro sd slot which is something that a lot of these bigger tech companies are skipping out on because they want to force you into their cloud platform and with this wise camera you don't have to be forced into that platform you can pop in your is uh, your memory card inside it and store your local your footage is locally and not be forced into paying that cloud subscription fees with this you know camera you put your sd card in store whatever footages you want and then when it's full you can set it to just override right so when memory is full it will re record over the old footages and continue recording or you can tell it to stop recording and then you can go in there and do whatever you want to do with those footages i use it in that regard for that another reason why i do love this camera is its customizability i'm able to actually load a custom firmware which is provided by wise you know which is amazing they provided a custom firmware so that way i can actually connect it to my local server so that way i can run my own personal um, uh, ai detection software so i don't have to use the cloud ai software i mean if you don't want to be bothered with all of that stuff of using your own ai software you know where it kind of detects objects people person and all that kind of stuff locally right you can actually play pay for their cloud uh, their cloud version of it for people that don't want to be bothered with that which is not too bad actually it's about two dollars monthly per camera which i mean i do, used to pay for it for a while to so just to support the company i did pay i paid for it on a couple of my cameras because i thought this company was actually customer centric so i mean you know what i was like you know what i just pay for it just to support the company and help them grow as well so i think it's the company in, in general is a great company and the fact that they actually offer you know offer options for people not to be pigeon old like the likes of google you know you get any of their cameras you can't store anything without paying for their footage with this camera you can pretty much use it without paying for cloud subscription fees the wise cam fantastic product and i definitely recommend it number four is the amazon fire stick now there are two versions of this fire stick there's the 4k and the 4k max which is the most recent one the different biggest difference being the fact that the 4k max supports wi-fi 6 and the 4k dot only supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band what that translates to is that you do need a wi-fi 6 capable router within your home to actually utilize the capability of the wi-fi 6 on this fire stick else it's just going to function the same way as the regular 4k uh, fire stick but i always recommend always get the latest that way you feature proof yourself and you don't have to worry about you know upgrading that device anytime soon when technologies start to fall out 
well that's if the price is not ridiculously expensive right in this case you can pick it up for just under fifty dollars as well which is quite reasonable because there's some texts out there that when they first come out they're just overly and outrageously priced in those cases i recommend just go with the older one but in this case it's on deal it's, a, it's on a deal it's on a sale right now so just get the 4k max and uh, when you do it end up upgrading your wi-fi your fire stick will be able to take advantage of that blazing fast speed now the fire stick is a very versatile media streaming device i mean it's compared to the value it is a fantastic device right i mean i have a bunch of this around the house i always have this with me when i'm traveling right because of the flexibility and ease of use whenever i go i travel and i'm in an hotel room or whatever i'm able to just plug it into their tv connect it to the wi-fi of the hotel and then i have access to my content right i don't have to worry about signing into all of my favorite media streaming devices all the time it automatically has my netflix my ulu my disney prime and even my plex as well just that ease of being able to just have that stick you know with you all the time and you don't have to worry about signing in on all those devices and you know potentially forgetting to log out of those devices and then other people using your stuff and all that stuff you just contain your information to that one stick and this stick is also very very versatile in the sense that you don't have to use it as a media streaming device you can sideload apps like a digital signage right so if you want to do like digital signage you can actually use this fire stick for digital signage you, you know load the software onto it and then you can put whatever customized signage you want to put into it and then you know you can use it for your retail store or for your you know, if you're a real estate agent and you want to you know put up those customs for sale whatever you can, you can do so much with this fire stick so it never hurts to have more than a couple around the house actually every of my tv i try to have at least one of it on each of my tv even though they are all brand TVs from different other manufacturers. So that way you have that option of it. And you can even load things like, uh, you know, IPTV as well on this Fire Stick. So there are lots of IPTV services you can put up onto this Fire Stick as well. So it will give you access to live TVs and, you know, games and boxing and all this, you know, pay-per-view events as well. You can get them. You can, you know, get those services on the Fire Stick. So it's a very versatile media streamer for the price. Fantastic. Very portable very cheap definitely recommend and i don't think you'll go wrong when you get it for anybody number five is led strip now the led strips are fantastic gifts that you can give to people i personally have a bunch of them around my house i have uh in my kitchen i have it in my office i have it in my living room as an accent i have it behind my tv as well they are just fantastic pieces of, uh, you know, they are fantastic LED strips that you can use them for ambient light. You can use it for indicators. You, you can use it for alerts as well. Like for me, I use the LED strips as well as, uh, you know, alerts in my house. So if it's snowing or if it's raining or if it's my garbage day or trash day, or you know depending on the mood i'm feeling as well i can actually set customized lights and temperatures on all of these led strips across the house for that ambiance right so there's never too, i mean i won't say there's never too much LED strips if you put too much then you're probably going to start turning your house into a, a nightclub as well but i mean that's a the number of LED strips is a matter of personal preference. I don't judge however many you have in your house. It's up to you. It's your home, your house, however you feel like it. But if you like, put it all over the floor as well. Doesn't matter. Fantastic. And I do recommend the ones from Meros. Meros LED strips are fantastic, but mostly because of the fact that it supports um, HomeKit, supports Google, and it supports Alexa. And the fact that this, you can adjust the temperature and the color. A lot of the LED strips out there only have one or the other so they only allow you to either change just the temperature so basically between you know 2500 kelvin and to maybe 7000 kelvin so between you know you have that warm color to daylight white or you can only change colors right but this LED strip kind of gives you the best best of both worlds the white on it is truly white and then all the other colors are truly whatever colors you set it as compared to some of the other LED strips I've seen. You click on white and then it kind of has that bluish tone. But this one, fantastic. It actually, the colors are quite representative of it. And the other ones that are on the market that would actually offer similar value to this are quite expensive. I mean, you have the likes of Philips Hue, you have um, Nano Leaf. Those are fantastic LED strips, but <laughs> the prices are, to me, are just outrageous. I mean, $100 for an LED strip, come on. And it's even just a five meters, less than five meters long LED strip. For $100, for me, 
yeah, too rich for my blood. So for gifts, I'd rather you, you can get the Meros ones. They are fantastic gift ideas. But I mean, if you have a lot of money, the Nano Leaf and the Philips Hue, they are excellent. Those things are really, I love them. I wish I could, I could get them. If I have the money, I'll splurge on those. But you know, for budget friendly, especially since that's the purpose of this video, definitely recommend the Meros LED strip instead. Now, if you've made it through to the end of this list, thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I hope I've been able to give you some list of options that you can consider for your last minute gift shopping ideas. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.